stuff. This is stuff that like I looked for and I wish somebody would have said, you know what, here's your options because I was trying all of them. Here's the fourth one you may not considered. <laughs> Hey there everybody, this is Greg Moomchi with Path the Journeyman. Today we're going to talk about going bald. What do you do about it? So there are really only four ways to approach going bald. Now all four of these options are based upon my humble opinion, but an opinion that I believe I have the experience to deal with. I started losing my hair at the age of 17. Worst time of my life. My, my self-esteem was through this floor into the living room. Um, basically, I felt like I had nothing to live for. And I considered all options um, when I was looking for something that could solve my hair loss problem. At this point, I only had three options in my mind. The fourth option, which we'll leave to last, uh, I didn't even consider until later. Option number one. When I first started losing my hair, you know, I, I still had a full enough head of hair. People barely noticed. The ones that were close to me, they knew I was thinning up top a little bit. Let's start with the least thinning of the bunch. You know, when, when you just got a little bit of that thinness creeping in. Um, nothing too much, but, but you know it's not as thick as it used to be. At this point, I started buying uh, thickening shampoos and hairsprays and different spray-on powders that kind of thicken the hair, different uh, matte hair putties and products and, and all, all these different little things that are, are daily products you use, um, nothing out of the ordinary. They just had thickening agents in them. That, that's the first thing I did. And at this stage, those options are not that bad. Many people use textured hair putties and and thickening shampoos and, and if you still have hair it might be a way to salvage um your your actual hair that you have left now some cons to option number one is that you know you're 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 gonna have to reapply and it's gonna wash out you're, you're never gonna be able to really besides the, the thickening shampoos those will help a little bit but basically, you're always going to have to have something in your hair. You'll never be able to have virgin hair. You're going to have to have some of that product with you. Your hair is going to have to be done, updoed, hair sprayed. It's not a method where you can just wake up out of bed and be like, oh, I'm good to go. Number two was when things started getting really thin, I, I had to go for the bigger guns. Um, those being hair building fibers. Now... There is a really big gray area for me with this stuff because I, I was there and I tried it. I really did. Um, some of them are gimmicky and it l literally screams, I am losing my hair and I am too insecure to admit it to everyone. That's how some of these products are. The one I chose was, in my opinion at the time, it was okay. And when I look back on it, it could have been worse. But at this point, the hair is already at a really thin level everyone kind of knows you're going bald it really it, it was showing that oh okay you know i'm really i'm, I'm grappling I'm, I'm looking for that that last bit of hope that i'm not gonna look like i'm losing my hair i would not recommend getting like um the hairspray um stuff that that you spray in and it's basically like spraying black paint on your head it, it's just that's not the way to go with dignity folks there, there are different like I said, hair building fibers, those are right on the line to me. I would say that that's on the dark side of the gray area. It washes off, you have to reapply it. Technology gets better and better with these things, but at the same point, they still have the same struggles and you have to have them on your person all the time. For number three, we have hair surgery, Rogaine, basically, treatments to help you regrow your hair. I really considered all three of these options. 
Uh, Rogaine seemed like the cheapest-ish and easiest. Basically, any type of benefit you would get with Rogaine, it seems like you lost. You had to use that product over and over again. And I know I'm kind of getting into the cons already when I should be into the pros, but basically its pro was that sometimes it works, but when it does work, um, you have to keep buying more and more of it because if you stop, you lose it. And in some cases, it seems like people lost their hair even worse than before. So it's definitely a, a pro is it might actually work. Um, cons, it might take a while. Um, it might be expensive. You have to keep doing it and you'll have to rely on it for the rest of your life. Going with the hair surgeries. I seriously considered it. I was at such a bottom point in my life. My, my own father, he was looking into paying for it. He, he, he knew it was at the lowest of the low and he was like, let's, let's just take care of it. Let's get you, you know, hair surgery. The problem is I was very unsure how it would go. Um, I know technology has gotten better and it will continue to get better. There might even be a time where everyone can have hair and they don't have to worry. It's not even a big deal. There's not even a big surgery about it. But at the time I was looking at hair plugs and different methods of where they take the strips out of the back of your head and they put it on the top. And there's pros to, to these. And I believe that depending on how you're balding, it could be an option, but you have to go, you'd have to go to a real professional and ask because I, I've seen the bad cases. I, I've done the research where, yeah, they filled in their hair, but they still kept going bald. So even though the hair that they filled in was good, there were still patches and they, they might have to go back, get them filled in again. And then on some really bad jobs where they would, sh you know, let's say you wanted to shave your head later on, um, you'll have all kinds of scar tissue in the back where they took the plugs. And, I get it, there are better methods out there, but it, it just seemed like a risky method for me, especially if I didn't know how my hair was balding. And I'm so glad I didn't because it just, it went wildly different than I thought it was going to. Um, that's, there's some risks associated with that. Plus, I'm gonna be honest, I do know people who have done it and their hair, though it's there, doesn't quite seem like it's natural state when they first had it. And I know everybody would say, oh, it's not going to be the same. And that's, that's, I totally get that. But it's not like a miracle. You're not getting like, oh, Velcro and, and for your, for your hair. And it's, it's not always what's cracked up to be. And I just think people should really consider what they're doing before they plop their money down, before they have somebody really mess up their head for life. Number four. Okay. At this point, it's obvious what number four was. Number four is going bald, shaving it, just going down to the skin or going down to maybe a very thin level with the clippers. This option I didn't even consider. I considered all the other three. I did some of the, the three I mentioned. The deal was with going bald, I thought that if I shaved my head, it would be admitting it. And in the end, if you do shave your head, you really are admitting it, but it's from a different level. It's not from the hair building fiber level, or it's not from the spray on hair level, or from the surgery on your head that went wrong level. It's, it's a confident level. And in the end, after going with option number four, I realized that there's a lot of things that changed in my life. Um, I was working on myself at the time. I was a very shy person. I was very introverted and it wasn't just shaving my head that helped me, but it really forced me to accept, hey, I'm bald and I'm cool with that. And that leads to a level of confidence that honestly you don't have before when you're trying all the other methods. It's, it's blatantly out there. You stand out in the crowd. Not everyone's bald. A lot of people now are trying to go bald because I think they see the benefits of it which there are many of. When you go into a meeting, look in the room. If there's a bald man, he's perceived as confident, he's perceived as a leader. And I'm not just saying this, there's studies to back this up if you look it up. Just, you look at a bald man, tell me what goes through your mind, what, what do you feel? You, you'll, you'll look at the person and you don't, usually when you see a bald man, you don't think, oh, of the shy kid in the corner and, you know, he's just, he's like, oh, oh, I don't want to be around anybody. No, he's perceived as a confident man. And that's just by his look. Sometimes 
men that are bald, in my case at that time, I wasn't confident, but it helped because it gave a different image and it said something because you really did have to have a different type of confidence to pull the trigger on the clippers and shave all the way down and go bald. There are many pros. Uh, basically, I can't see many cons. You have to shave a lot. You have to keep it clean. Um, it's That's work. But when you go to, you're, you're shaving your face already. Some of you, some of you have a beard. Also another pro though, a beard looks amazing with a bald head. But basically, it's not that big of a deal for upkeep. It's It's well worth the work. And it's way less work, in my opinion, than all of the other methods. I know I'm coming in heavy on number four, but I never considered number four. And I, like I said, number one, there might be some validity in there. You, you, If you're at that stage, you might be able even to fight back for your hair. Um, you might be able to take certain vitamins and, and help with that. Um, I'm not putting all these methods down, and nor do, like I said before, I'm not looking down anybody that's done it because I've been there. And if I saw someone in that situation, I... Good night. They get an old brotherly hug from Greg. Basically, when you see a man walking down the road and he's shaved bald, yeah, he's bald. Everybody knows he's bald. But it's it's not some cover-up where he's in between. He's like, I'm bald. I'm okay with it. Everybody else has to be okay with it. And no one can mess with the guy. And when you really start to embrace your baldness, you'll you'll love it. You'll you'll be like, you know, why did I not do this before? And also, I mean, other pros is you don't wake up with messy hair. You come, you wake up in the morning and you've got nothing to do with your head. You just put on your clothes, brush your teeth, you go to work, and you're, you're always ready to go. You don't have to worry about fiddling around with your hair. You save so much time and effort and money. And in the end, you've got one of the best looks out there. I mean, look at some of the best tough guy actors out there. Look at just regular actors out there. Look, there's many bald guys and when you look at them, Look at the movies they're in. Look at how they're perceived. You, you, you'll get where I'm going with this. So I'm just encouraging you. I know I gave you four options. But I gave you four options so you could see the choice that you have. And I hope that you see that four, it's not an admittance of, oh, I'm, I'm less than anyone else. It is saying I'm confident enough to say what I am. And if you can do that, I assure you, you're going to see some amazing benefits in your life. The most important thing though, if you choose any one of these four methods, be confident in it. If you are going with the first method, rock it out. If you're going with the fibers or the, the spray and hair, rock it out. If you've got that surgery and you've got a nice head of hair going on, or if you didn't and it was a failure, you know, just feel confident about it and rock it out. Number four, as I said, I believe it leaves you with no choice but to be confident. You don't, you can't fight with yourself. You can't have that inner struggle. Um, so I highly encourage you to go with number four. In the end, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have a question, please leave it in the comments and I'll try to get back to you. If you like this video, please hit the like button. If you dislike this video, smash the dislike button. Just, just get it out. Get it all out. I, I don't care. It's, it's fine. Go to the link in the description below. Wherever this video is, I'm going to make sure that there's a description below with the address to our website, pathtojourneyman.com. Please be patient and nice to young Greggy here. We are under construction on the website. You can still log in. On the pathtojourneyman.com, we have posts and articles that we're trying to get up and pumping you guys with energizing content. Also, while you're on there, subscribe to our email list. Everybody on our email list will get content that is not seen anywhere else. And no, we're not going to be spammy about it. It's not going to be like, oh no, one of those, those emails you get where like now you're just bothering you all the time. No, no, no. I don't have the time to be spammy. But I do want to put forth real content out to people that want it. So signing off, this is Greg Moomchi with Path to Journeyman. Have a great day. Stay classy. Stay bald.